Uh, let's move on to our bold predictions. I accidentally typed bolt predictions here, so sorry about that one. We should keep um, that. I like that. There we go. Bolt predictions. Um, Alex, start us off, man. What's your bold prediction for this game? Um, do we are we going to do like a positive one or a negative one or just a positive one, <laughs> or can I attack this from any angle? You can do what? both if you want. Okay. But. Um. I will say bold prediction first from a negative and then one with the positive. I do think Chase Young is going to get two sacks in this game. Um, I don't know if that's like a super bold prediction, but if I have like a over under, you know, plus one and a half line, I just think that he's going to get some of that action, maybe catch uh, Slater off, you know, a little earlier in the game. And then obviously he can be matched up with Balaga sometimes. And then obviously we have the situation where if Balaga goes down, then you're, you know, putting Chase Young against Storm Norton on some staffs, which is just horrifying to imagine. So um, I think he'll have a pretty good game this week. And I'm going to say bold prediction, Josh Palmer, six receptions, 45 yards. <laughs> Gosh, I hate How that bold. so much. <laughs> It, well, I could have gone 50, but I was like, is he going to get 50? I don't know. But I'll say, I mean, because he is like the third or fourth wide receiver on this depth chart, because yeah. they have, you know, I think Austin Eckler is going to play this game and all these other options. I think if he got 50 yards in this game, that would be a really uh, kind of great opening for him. Yeah, for sure. That, hey, man, six receptions this game. Hopefully that means no one got injured in this game. And that's why he's yeah. just involved because he's a really good wide receiver three. Uh, I'm going to go with a different receiving option for my bold prediction. Again, this isn't necessarily bold, but I wanted to find some truth in it. Um, I do think that Jared Cook leads the team in receiving yards. When I went back and read Daniel Popper's articles, I believe Jared Cook had the second most receptions of training camp behind Keenan Allen. Very far behind Keenan Allen, but it was, I believe, the second most. So, like yeah. I said, Gerald Everett did lead the Rams in receiving yards against the Washington football team last year. Granted, that was only one game. It's the only game I've looked at. Maybe they were great against tight ends everywhere else. But I do think Jared Cook and uh, Justin Herbert have a very good relationship so far. Cook looks great. They want to get Cook involved. They know how to get Cook involved. I think when you have someone like Joe Lombardi, who is still, I guess, I'm assuming trying to figure out his way as an offensive coordinator, and particularly with this quarterback, with this offense, with this coach, I think going to the well and going back to someone like Jared Cook, who he knows how to work with, I think will work really well for him. So I do think that Jared Cook leads the team in receiving yards. There we go. I, I was going to go with Donald Parham in that same kind of vein. Okay, so, yeah. Um, I'm going to go, obviously, different. I'll go defensively. Um, I'll say Kyler Fackrell gets more than one sack, whether that's mm -hmm. one and a half or two. I don't know, but I'm going to say Kyler okay. Fackrell makes an impact in this game. You know, obviously, the most productive pass rusher um, in the preseason for the Chargers. And again, mm -hmm. you know, the Washington offensive line is solid. Like I think Charles Leno, their left tackle is is like a good you know left tackle. He's nothing special, so um, I think we'll see the Chargers kind of mix some things up, do some stunts, do some games, and I think Kyler Fackrell has a big day this week. All right, so I'm gonna push you to go really bold then. Will Kyler Fackrell or Chase Young have more be more productive? So you got Fackrell versus Cosme and the other guy who stinks versus. <laughs> Chase Young, who's going up against Slater. I just called him a solid left like. tackle, and you said he stinks. <laughs> well, he can really like trying to pitch last him. season. <laughs> <laughs> he had 42 okay. pressures last season. He's not that great. Okay. I don't care. He doesn't stink. He's been very consistently healthy for his there teams. I'll say that. That's true. Okay, That's so true. who's more productive? Chase Young, but it goes against Slater, or Fackrell versus whoever they line him up against? I'm going to go with Kyler Fackrell. All right. I like it. I know I fully respect Alex's opinion on Chase Young having a big day. I think Rashawn Slater is going to have a fantastic rookie debut. I think Rashawn Slater is going to handle his business. So I'm going to go with Kyler Fackrell. More sacks and pressures than Chase Young.